I didn't leave my house. I was living with like three people in a house. Didn't walk out my door for like months. I was too afraid. to. I, I would have panic attacks every time I left. And one night I went to a 7-Eleven at 3 in the morning because if I had to leave to get food or money, I would do it in the middle of the night because I didn't want to be around crowds. And I remember going to a 7-Eleven just to get something to eat. And I drove up into the parking lot and I look in and there's one person in there shopping. And I couldn't get out of my car until they left the building. Are you serious? I was so... I And then I was like... Oh, I have a huge fucking problem. And I started crying. I called Sarah Silverman, who I had met, you know, a few years earlier. And she's like, dude, this is completely normal. She goes, no, it's not. No, she goes, millions <laughs> of people suffer oh, yes. from this. <laughs> this is normal. No. Everybody just, waits for the deal. last guy to leave the 7-Eleven. <laughs> Once he's out, you're, it's good. That's what we all experience that. Mm -mm. No, but I, I understand what you're saying. She goes, you're having a panic attack. She's like, that's normal. She goes... You need medication. She's like, I think, she's like, do you see a therapist? I go, yeah. She's like, you need medication. And she gave me the name of her doctor and took everything I had to drive in the middle of the day to an office in Century City <laughs> and sit in there and talk to this woman. She prescribed me Lexapro. And I started taking Lexapro. And I was helped. a little tired for a few days, but within two weeks, I was like back going out doing stand-up changed your life changed my life this was like 2002 or two you still on lexapro yeah stayed on it since then if it ain't broke don't fix it i i it's working so you really don't get depressed all that much i mean we all get depressed i get when normal depressed like you know i'll get sad but stuff. she didn't give you anything for the anxiety she gave you things for the depression Lexapro is it's use, both. It's for anxiety disorder. It is and depression. Okay, I've never taken that one. Yeah, it's good. Wow. <laughs> so, so Sarah Silverman got saved you saved my life. Saved your life. You also did a show with career her. wise and emotionally. Career so, wise, why did you? Why did Sarah Silverman save your career? After I had quit, after I had quit reality show, TV, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to go back to working in a coffee shop. Um. Sarah and I had gotten on medication. Sarah called me one day and said, Jimmy, she was dating Jimmy Kimmel at the time. She's mm -hmm. like, Jimmy's doing a, a talk show now. She goes, they, they don't even have a name for this position, but they need someone to do research to just watch TV and find funny clips for him to make fun of in the monologue. I was like, I'll take that. I'll sit in an office and watch TV for 10 hours a day. So I did that. That was kind of miserable just because you're watching you're watching the view you're watching uh the 700 club tv you wouldn't watch if yes you're looking for funny things to make fun of you know uh um you know home shopping network stuff like that right that's what i was doing and it was driving me crazy i couldn't watch tv when i got home at night because i just didn't want to but i stuck around because i wanted to be a writer i was like i think i can be a writer and I let Jimmy know, and as soon as there was an opening, like he made me a writer, like he was the best. Wow.